No score. And the battalion, that is bonus. Cross ice, misses McClement on the near side. The Storm pick it up. Fedor Tutin gets it out into neutral ice. And now here's Power over the line. And knocks it over for McMillan. McMillan digging for it. Along the boards, McMillan has it now. McMillan back to the point. On the far side for Tootin, he keeps it in. It's blocked. McMillan now with it. McMillan looking in front. McMillan, he takes a hit. And the Brampton Battalion will bring it out. Along the boards, and now the Battalion get it out. Here's LaRue with a chance. LaRue shot off the post. And Beckford Sue catches a break there in the opening three minutes of this game as it rings right off the iron. Well, there's the first opportunity by either club, Steve, tonight just uh, under three minutes gone. And that comes off the stick of the battalion as they broke in over one-on-one. -on -one. The, right, the right winger coming down on the Guelph end zone, gains the zone and gets a quick snapshot. And it eludes the goaltend Beckford Sue off the inside of the post, but bounced widely in the crease just enough so he could cover up and uh, make the stoppy to play stick. I would think so, yes. There's a shot. Bounces on top of the net. Chase on back of the net. Brown in front scores! Justin Brown. Johnny on the spot, and the Guelph Storm lead one to nothing. Pick up the rebound and the pass off the backboards, and there you can see him putting it behind the goaltender for the 1-0 lead. But it was a heads-up play coming 12 storm behind the net to put the carom pass. And there was Dustin Brown picking up the first goal of the night to give the storm a 1-0 lead over the battalion. Well, Bill, Dustin Brown certainly picking up the scoring slack for the Guelph Storm. Back for Branham, he keeps it in at the line. Dustin Brown wheeling in front. Brown over top of the net with a shot. Bounces around in the crease area. Here's another chance, right on, and St. Pierre is robbed by Biasucci. Wow, St. Pierre, you get to know this guy and watch him around the league. He covers a lot of territory. Dahlman at the point, over to St. Pierre. Shot right on, Biasucci the save. And Brampton gets it out and down the ice. McMillan and Chase on McMillan looking for Dahlman. Now Chase on finds it. Chase on back. Tootin coming in. Shot scores! Fedor Tootin! Two to nothing, Guelph Storm. Well, Guelph very good around the net with their passes. And there's Fedor Tootin picking up a happy. Camper tonight as he puts Guelph Storm up 2-0 with 10.04 left in the first period. You're going to see a lot of work done by number 21 of the Storm, that being recent pickup Luke Chason. In it comes. That's Tudin getting the shot away, but the rebound comes out to him again, and he was able to bury it for the 2-0 lead. Well, Luke Chason in his second game with the Guelph Storm gets his fourth point, second of the evening. To St. Pierre, here's a chance for Branham in front. Brown with a shot, hits the post. And Dustin Brown with a great opportunity there. Just a little bit unlucky. Because Kreps fell. There's a shot through the crease out the other side. Kreps on the near side for Leclerc. Leclerc fires one, hits the post, rolls around in front and Beckford Sue, fortunate to get a hold of that. Picked up by Bergio. Now Power. Power with Ponore and Branham. Shot right on. Bounces around. Biasucci looking forward. The net comes off the moorings with six or seven players in the crease area. Ponore wow. scrambling madly for it. But the net comes off the moorings and there will be no goal. No goal, and uh, the face-off, it looks as though it's going to come out, but you're going to see about a five-on-two here. The shot being taken by the Storm's number six, Tim Branham. All sorts of traffic around Biasucci, and somehow, with bodies all a-flying and sticks <laughs> going through the air and everything, he was able to come up with it in the pile there to force the stoppage of play. 2.24 left in the period. The Storm up by a pair, and there you see it just dangerously bouncing Watch. wide and almost comes out again. And Ponteray right there at the side of the goal just about had his 
first OHL goal. You know, and now that play developed. There were three Brampton Battalion caught inside the Guelph blue line. For St. Pierre, St. Pierre ahead for Dustin Brown. Brown, nice move there. Over to St. Pierre. St. Pierre is shot, save there. Biasucci sharp. Great chance by the Guelph Storm. Chase on back to the point for Branham. Kept in. Dustin Brown on the near side. St. Pierre there as well. Brown. Brown leads a checker. Brown on his knee shot. Piasucci there, the save. And they clear it down the ice. Stevens picks it up now. Back for McSwain. McClement on the near side. McClement with Hughes. McClement shot scores! McClement on the power play makes it two to one. Well, the fans not liking that one here in Guelph, but Jay McClement, a St. Louis Blues draft choice, shows one of the reasons why. Well, you're going to see here that Guelph's going to get caught a little bit flat-footed and standing around and watching the hockey game rather than participated in there. And there was a shot coming off the off wing here. Is it, you see Charlie Stevens get caught away up at the blue line. The Italian picking up two of them in the end zone. And there's McClement just walks out unarmed and a quick brister up over the shoulder finds the back of the net and is two to one just like that with 10 8 left in the period. Back from his four game suspension. Hennessy around the net. Colt King again. Hennessy coming right to the side of the net. Scores! Derek Hennessy, a power play goal, three to one, well. Well, Bill, Derek Hennessy, right at the side of the net, banging away at it. And Got the rebound, and three to one it is for the Guelph Storm. And what you're going to see how this develops behind the, the goal line, Guelph Storm, there are two of them back there, right behind the goal, and Hennessy is able to pick it up and walk out and bang it in through the short side as Biasucci went down, perhaps to get his uh, paddle down there to block it, but uh, it perhaps deflected up and over, and there was a lot of room there between uh, Biasucci and the goaltender, and a power play goal makes it three to one for the Guelph Storm. So Derek Hennessy is third of the season. Intercepted by McMillan, McSwain after him. And it's flipped into the Brampton bench area. McMillan takes a shot, gets a shot over on the far side. McMillan not happy as Barahowski gets in the middle of that one and McMillan getting a few shots in. And there's going to be a penalty here of course as McMillan for sure is going and we'll see if there's a Brampton player goes as well. And it looks like it's going to be McSwain. Well, Malcolm McMill McMillan, a pickup from the Sioux Greyhounds, is, is known for his tough physical play. But uh, the knock on him was that he was uh, lacking in some of the self-discipline. Jeff Jackson has done a job on him to bring him under control. And uh, as you see, Stan speaking Butler of going crazy here. And we may see on the replay some of the uh, activity that caused this uh, fight in the subsequent uh, verbal discussion there between Stan Butler and the officials. Here it is right now. Over next to the, the bench of the battalion, some heavy action there and a shove by McSwain and retaliation by McMillan. And he looks to take on number 24, Ryan Bonus as well. So there was some jabs in there and uh, a frustration of the coaching staff coming to the, the fore as well. But uh, nonetheless, well, really, McMillan Bill, and, uh, McMillan really uh, jumped in there a little prematurely, I think. He took a, a minor shot over there and just went ape, really. The point for Dahlman. Cross ice. Brown. Brown with a shot. Piasucci the save. Tootin fans on it. He looked like he was going to wire it. Never had a chance. Brown back to Tootin now. 56 seconds left in the period. Tootin wires it off the iron. But still in play. Stevens on the far side, another chance for Dahlman. Dahlman in front, shot right on. Bounces around Biasucci in the crease. It rolls around. Cole King with it, and the buzzer goes to save the Brampton Battalion as the Storm putting some pressure on at the final minute of this period, trying to get a 
four to one lead. They don't come away with it. And the uh, Storm with a flurry of activity here in the final minutes, uh, but no goal for them. And now the battalion finally get a hold of it. Pass it right to Charlie Stevens, centered for Hennessy. Hennessy with a chance. Hennessy, oh, what a save! Biasucci, absolute heroics there by Joey Biasucci. Well, that's one for the highlight reel, and man, oh man, what a save it was. He was doing acrobats all over there on that blue ice, Steve. And we're going to pick it up in the rebound. You're going to see Stevens pick up the loose puck and dump a little pass in front to his line mate. But how he stopped this one, there's the pass from Stevens. And you'll see it's Hennessy gets it through the legs of the defender. But watch this save. He's down and up. And man, oh man, what a great glove save by Biasucci in the battalion. And wow, goal. Hennessy for Dalman. He misfires on him. And the... Brampton Battalion, McSwain with a move. McSwain beats Dahlman, shot scores! McSwain, Dahlman letting him get away and McSwain makes the most of it to make it three to two, Guelph Storm. Well, Kurt McSwain just like that, catching Dahlman flat-footed and we said anything can happen here. One goal makes the difference here and there you see three to two just like that with 11-17 left. And you're going to see the puck being picked up here in the neutral zone. Comes up and sets it down. Makes a fake around Dahlman, who's uh, skating with him, and turns on the burners real quick there. Gets a quick backhander that eludes him. Beckford Sue and off the post and in behind him it went, and it's 3-2 to two just like that. Guelph out shooting the battalion 41-20 to 20 in spite of only one goal difference at this point in the third period. Well, perhaps Beckford Sue will have... Regret not having that one. Uh, back for Tootin. Tootin with a shot wired over top of the net. St. Pierre on the far side makes a move on two guys. Back for Brown. Brown right out in front. Brown scores! Dustin Brown, a beautiful goal to make it 4-2. to two. While you talk about how teams respond, there's a case where Brampton did bring the puck down after McSwain's goal when he cut the margin to three to two, but it's the Guelph Storm who are more effective with their puck control and they're getting it around very effectively in the end zone and they come walking out right again. And there's Dustin Brown putting it behind Biachuti. Now Clayton a one on two. Clayton will shoot it right on Beckford Sue, no problem. And Jay Harrison knocks Dahlman right into Beckford Sue, and Zavashin ain't too happy about that. Zavashin and Jay Harrison. Zavashin with Harrison's helmet off. Zavashin taking a few shots, getting one on Harrison. Zavashin and Harrison toe to toe here. Tough customers. Zavashin Harrison giving Zavashin a couple of hard shots, and now he has them by the jersey. And the referee and linesman will get in there now to get those two apart. But Zavashin getting Harrison's helmet off early. A couple of good shots from Zavashin. Harrison getting some late action there. There'll be some penalties, as you know. And they've been complete, complete control here all night, I think, Steve. Certainly have. Bergio cross for Branham. Branham fires one. Biasucci, a nice save. There's another opportunity. Hennessy can't get a hold of it, and it rolls down the ice. Branham back in his own zone for it. And Branham going to kill off the clock here back of his own net. And the Guelph Storm victorious at home. Four to two over the Brampton Battalion. And not really in doubt for very much of the game. Brampton a couple of flurries here and there, but the Guelph Storm an overwhelmingly good effort here on home ice, winning four to two. Well, they did. They outscored them and out uh, shot them 19 to 11, 16 to eight, and 10 to three over the periods for a 45 to 22 total. And uh, they were, as we said, uh, throughout the hockey game, they responded to any challenge, physical or offensive, that the battalion were able to muster in trying to cut the margin that the two goal margins that the Guelph Storm uh, enjoyed over the course of the hockey game. And when the battalion brought it back to cut it to his one, Guelph was the team to respond to restore the two goals, and they were uh, well-deserving of their two-point victory tonight and Guelph.
Well, Chris Beckford Sue registering the win here for the Guelph Storm in the Nets, and uh, perhaps a dose of confidence for him. A lot of uh, possible uh, candidates for the three stars, and we'll be back with them right after this. 